I'm delighted to welcome Most Reverend William Callahan, Bishop of La Crosse, Wisconsin, as he's going to offer us a little fervorino on St. Joseph. From the earliest days of my life, I have strongly been attracted to the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. So many aspects of that simple Holy Family called me deeper and deeper into God's love for us as His own. Hello everyone. For those of you who may not know me, I am Bishop William Patrick Callahan of the Diocese of La Crosse and I am a lifelong follower of St. Joseph. From my earliest days, I always thought of him as being particularly chosen by God to be the protector of the Holy Family, the husband of Mother Mary, the guardian and foster father of Jesus, and God's choice to protect the church from the very beginning. One way or another, those thoughts have matured in my life as I have grown older. There have been many instances of St. Joseph's special protection throughout my life, and we don't have time for me to go on about them, but I do see St. Joseph in many circumstances where he has been a hero and a role model. I have referred to him in marriage preparations, especially for grooms. I have called attention to him in the confessional, especially in speaking to situations where domestic disputes need special handling. One opportunity that particularly strengthened my devotion to St. Joseph came during my seminary days while studying sacred theology. My classmates and our director took a trip from Toronto, where we were studying, up to Montreal to the real Mount Royal and the heart of the city, St. Joseph's Oratory. The Oratory is massive and it provides great views of the city. Inside, images of St. Joseph surrounded by vigilites were abundant. In almost every place where one could find a statue, a painting, or some other sort of rendering featuring St. Joseph, one would find the subtitle, Ite Ad Joseph. The Latin translates, Go to Joseph. I've only been back once as a priest, but I have taken the message, Go to Joseph, wherever I have ministered. St. Joseph, however, has brought personal peace and support to me in family crises, in personal moments of grace and need. I initiated a year of St. Joseph in La Crosse Diocese last year. I am thrilled that our Holy Father has proclaimed the year for the Universal Church until the end of this year. St. Joseph is revered in Scripture as a just man. In Scripture, he speaks no words, but he listens to the promptings of grace and accepts the challenges of fatherly leadership and care for the Holy Family directly from God the Father himself. In this time, when fatherhood and manhood are so clearly devalued, yet so incredibly needed in our society, St. Joseph is a hero for the age. In short, I urge you, go to Joseph. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glorious Saint Joseph, who has been elevated by an ineffable design of God to the dignity of spouse of Mary and foster father of Jesus, and who has been proclaimed as patron of the Universal Church, with joy we kneel before you to thank God for the privileges bestowed upon you, and also for the dignity to which he has raised you among all men. Blessed are you because you have consoled, assisted, 
and protected the august Virgin Mary, your immaculate spouse. Blessed are you because you have devoted yourself to our divine Redeemer, Jesus, sparing no trouble to clothe him, to protect him against the snares of his enemies, to save him for the salvation of the world. Blessed are you because you have always been the consoler, the defender, and the supporter of the church in its trials. Blessed are you because no one has ever had recourse to your protection or implored your aid without obtaining relief. We kneel before you to place ourselves among the number of your children and in the shelter of your powerful protection. We shall always love and honor you as our kind Father, and we beg of your goodness, O oh dear Joseph, that you accept us as your beloved children, that you take into your hands our interests, temporal as well as spiritual, and that you defend us against the snares of the devil, protect us against the dangers with which we are surrounded. Direct us, O most loving Father, to the love of the divine heart of Jesus, to an unswavering fidelity to the Holy Church, to a filial affection for the Blessed Virgin, our Mother, so that by your help we may enter heaven to glorify God together with you during all eternity. Amen. Hail Joseph, son of David, most pure spouse of the Immaculate Mother of God and faithful guardian of our Lord Jesus Christ. Pray for us, your children. Pray for our loved ones whom you have graciously accepted into your protection and your mighty patronage. Amen. The Litany of St. Joseph. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Fathers Norbert and Augustine, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Noble offspring of David, pray for us. Light of patriarchs, pray for us. Spouse of the Mother of God, pray for us. Chaste guardian of the Virgin, pray for us. Foster Father of the Son of God, pray for us. Zealous defender of Christ, pray for us. Head of the Holy Family, pray for us. Saint Joseph most just, pray for us. Saint Joseph most chaste, pray for us. Saint Joseph most prudent, pray for us. Saint Joseph most courageous, pray for us. Saint Joseph most obedient, pray for us. Saint Joseph most faithful, Pray for us. Mirror of patience. Pray for us. Lover of poverty. Pray for us. Model of workmen. Pray for us. Glory of domestic life. Pray for us. Guardian of virgin. Pray for us. Pillar of families. Pray for us. Comfort of the afflicted. Pray for us. Hope of the sick. Pray for us. Patron of the dying. Pray for us. Terror of demons. Pray for us. Protector of our holy church. Pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. He has made him the Lord of his household and prince over all his possessions. Let us pray. O God, who in your loving providence chose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother, grant us the favor of having him for our intercessor in heaven whom on earth we venerate as our protector, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. O blessed Joseph, faithful guardian of my Redeemer, Jesus Christ, protector of thy chaste spouse, the Virgin Mother of God, I choose thee this day to be my special patron and advocate. And I firmly resolve to honor thee from this time forth. Therefore, I humbly beseech thee to receive me as thy client, to instruct me in every doubt, to comfort me in every affliction, to obtain for me and for all the knowledge of the love of the heart of Jesus. And finally, to defend and protect me at the hour of death. Amen. May Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.